Hey everybody, Guilty here. I'm feeling a little under the weather. I think I caught a cold or something. I'm not really too sure. But I just wanted to to get on here real quick and just just share with, with you just not really my delight. It's not that I delight in any of this. I don't have a grudge or a vendetta or anything with Yong Ya. But this whole thing with, with him being the voice actor for Kiryu in the new Yakuza Yakuza game. I've never even played Yakuza. I have no dog in this race or horse or whatever animal you wish to insert in your metaphor. I am not invested in this goofy looking series. I'm looking at this fucking video of them singing. Is this karaoke? Because karaoke, you sing to music. You don't actually play the music. But his fucking, this is him singing? This race till we die, we're living by our own judgment. Judgment. <laughs> Oh my god! I'm sorry. It's fucking hilarious. The same dude, he has had a variety of opinions, and they are the opinions of all time. Now, I'll admit, he got me hyped for Death Stranding. When the first trailers for Death Stranding came out, I was I was on the train, and Yong Yao was the conductor, all right? And more than willing to admit that. And then Death Stranding came out, and I got the, what was it, the $90, $80? I got, like, the mid-tier deluxe edition. I thought I was getting the score because I thought the ambient music from the trailer was really good. No, it was the soundtrack. It was with the songs that I hated. But then I played the game and I hated it even more. <laughs> I hated it even more. I was like, fuck, this is what happens when you set your expectations up in the goddamn stratosphere. And then the thing actually becomes a thing. And you know what? The best thing could have happened to Death Stranding is that it never manifested. It just kept on being a myth, you know? If it had just never become a game and it just lived on as those trailers and just the questions continued to go, that's why I think PT is as popular as it is for as long as it has been. It got it got shit canned and they never released the full game. It never had the opportunity to let you down. Whereas Yong Ya yeah was given that opportunity. We're breaking the Oh my god, you can hear the auto-tune. Oh, who the fuck is? Is he T-Pain? Together. The main reason why it's funny is because Yong Yao is allegedly a professional YouTube gaming personality. He's not uh, someone that writes an article for another enterprise like IGN or Kotaku. He, under his own handle, his own banner puts out videos on a very regular basis, and they are his, allegedly his, takes. And some of those takes included his reaction to Chris Pratt being cast as the voice actor for Mario in the Mario movie not one year ago. I, I mean, did I say more than one? Yeah, there was more than one video of that. About Chris Pratt's Mario voice and the impressive French dub everyone's talking about. Internet react. React? Internet react. The internet reacts mm. to Mario Movie's second trailer, Chris Pratt's Mario voice and impressive sounding foreign dubs. He has called attention to and publicly said, hey, this voice actor over here is not suited for the part. This is not Mario. This is Chris Pratt talking whilst a avatar of Mario uh, is on screen and there's lip flaps. LOL, Mario just sounds like Chris Pratt? Yeah, sure, let's get Chris Pratt to do an imitation of Mario for the animated Mario movie instead of getting, you know, the literal authentic voice of Mario who's been the character for three decades to play the real deal. Let's relegate Charles Martinet to special cameos instead. The thing about Chris Pratt voicing Mario is he's not coming up with a new voice for a new character. It's someone very iconic and recognizable. He doesn't have to go 100% Charles Martinet but Mario sounding mostly like Chris is jarring. I hope future trailers change my mind. Here we are, less than one year later, and we have this character Kiryu. You know, had you just waited three minutes, I'd have been a little more grateful.
We don't know. That's not Kiryu's voice. It's just Yong Ya yeah talking. And there's an avatar of Kiryu on screen. And there's lip flaps. And what is the reaction? Well, what I'm looking at, if you did not notice, is hidden replies. I've been highlighting some of Yong Ya's hidden replies to one of his more recent tweets. And that's because... All of the criticisms, negative feedback that have been lobbed his way, he has not been taking too kindly to them. Did that come out right? He has not been happy. Apparently, he has blocked a litany of users, and he hides, I'm going to say literally everyone who says anything remotely negative about his performance. So nearly 30 replies have been hidden on this one tweet, and... Because stop it, <laughs> stop. <laughs> oh, my God, you like it? Well, why not? I like this new generation of music. Justice, we're breaking the law, breaking the world. <laughs> It's just great because you're just like, it's Christmas morning. And you're like, well, is there anything there? Yep, there's a few. Eh, there's a few more. <laughs> so here's this just from a few days ago. Didn't know Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth demo included with Gaiden has an English dub. That's a surprise. Given how iconic Kiryu is, there will be a lot of strong opinions one way or another. But whichever language you play on, hope you have a blast with playing as Kiryu again. A lot of strong opinions one way or another. That's a very mature way of justifying an immature act to silence those who don't care for the English dub. That that's still standing is kind of surprising. Let's go to the hidden replies. He did voice acting for the new Spider-Man game as well. Hey, you the one who called us? Yeah, they're in here somewhere. All right, you two spread out while they get this guy's statement. Oh my God, it's just him. We need your statement. Tell me what you saw. I suspect it is. What have you actually seen? Well, have you actually seen them? How can you be sure there's more than one? Let's take a breath, shall we? <laughs> I think part of my personal, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and say delight. Delight at this is uh, just the level of cringe in, in some of these other shenanigans. Back in July, Instagram released their Twitter alternative threads. Feel free to follow me. Hopefully a full transition away from Twitter can happen in the not-so-distant future. Here we are, it's almost Thanksgiving, and boy, how successful has threads become. Can't even read my own tweets, lol. What colossal ineptitude. In case Twitter doesn't make it from this, I guess the next best alternative is my Instagram. I think the thing for me is the hubris and the arrogance because that's all I see here. I mean, the goddamn, it just doesn't fucking stop but masturbating on his timeline about check me out yo i get to be a voice actor for this dude in this game and i'm such a big fucking deal i'm gonna be fucking oh my god can't you oh you have no fucking idea one of the best parts of voicing this guy Oh, man, I love this job. I love my life. This is so fucking cool. Did I mention uh, I'm the fucking dude? And he here's attempting the pose. Here's my suit Get the with the thing. And here's more gifts of the thing. And still talking about the thing. And here's the thing. Oh, wait, wait. Gotta take a break from... Got Gotta take a break from the self-promotion to bash on Twitter. Gotta take a break from talking about me to rip on Elon because that's what all the cool kids are doing. R.I.P. Twitter. There's 70,000 tweets about Twitter dying, so I better jump on it. Boy, it really... Yeah, it did numbers for you. Look at that. Whole 189 retweets and 1,800 likes. Yeah, you... Whew, you really contributed to the ecosystem with that one. Oh, same day. Can't even read my own tweets, lol. What colossal ineptitude. 17 retweets, 278 likes. And we're back talking about himself. Look at all the things that I'm doing. Look at me, it's about me. And this role. Did I mention who I'm gonna be? Soy Jack Face! So let's put a fucking bow on this, okay? Why are we even talking about Yong Yao? It's because less than a year ago, he goes after Chris Pratt for not sounding like Mario. The guy does not sound like how I thought Mario should sound like. And my opinion matters because I have a YouTube channel with a bunch of followers and subscribers. And I have a Twitter and I complain about Elon and the president and, you know, people care what I have to say. He gets a voice acting role. He goes out there 
And people are saying, you do not sound like how I think Kiryu should sound. His argument about Chris Pratt was, we have years and years of Mario, and we already have a guy who's been the voice of Mario. And then everybody else is saying, hey, Yong Yao, we already had a guy that's been the voice of Kiryu, and we have a few examples of how Kiryu ought to sound, and you are not it. And what is his reaction to all of that? Filtering all of that negativity, and negativity is a big umbrella word for all the criticisms, all the critiques. And I can't believe that instead of doing anything else, Instead of making the good, 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 guilty gaming video after all the s- 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 sniper wolf shit like I was going to a few weeks ago, I ended up doing this instead. Uh.